Personal attorney, you may recall that in the very first segment of the show, <clears throat> we posed a, uh, you know, because we deal with real estate and business law, and obviously some of you have real estate, whether it's a house, a car, a cottage, or uh, whatever it may be. And, uh, you know, we just have a, a handy hint. You know, this is sort of a reminder. Now, we, we, we've been going for a little bit of time on this one. Um, <clears throat> but let's uh, let's uh, review the bidding, shall we? Um, so you want a home equity line of credit or you want to refinance your house. And uh, since you bought the dang thing, you've been haunting, uh, you know, uh, Harbor Freight, Menards, Home Depot and Lowe's like the uh, like the ghost of uh, Christmas past. Right. Uh, you're Marley there hunting the, the thing, whatever. And, um, you know, you've done all these improvements on your house and now you're convinced that your house is worth four hundred four hundred thousand dollars oh my goodness well you know that that counts for something as well as the bird bath and uh not to mention the mirrors that you put on the bathroom walls anyway the point is you think it's worth more and when you apply for your home equity line of credit your refinance what have you yeah that's what you put down you say my house is worth four hundred thousand dollars and then the bank says wait a second uh, we had an appraisal here and it says worth 320. Uh, but, you know, we're happy to loan you the money on 320 And you say, well, okay, fine, why not? And our interest rate is based on the 320 and your payment schedule is based on the 320 plus your credit history. We don't ignore that. And these are all the factors that go into us making this loan. But you, on your application, you see, you put down it was worth $400,000. But it really wasn't. Ooh. But now, 10 years later, you've paid off the loan. The bank got all the interest it wanted. The bank is happy with you. In fact, they invited you in to say, you know, why don't you come by and chat up our uh, our uh, customer service representatives because uh, they liked you as much as we did. And we all love you and you're a wonderful person. And by the way, um, you know, stop by for a cup of coffee anytime. And uh, you say, friendly bank. That's very nice. And they say, and we'd loan you more money in a heartbeat. No problem. You know, want to borrow money from us? You go right ahead. We love you. And then a couple more years go by and, you know, maybe you do a little more business with them, whatever. And, of course, you pay it and you pay it off. And then, then you express an unpopular political opinion, an unpopular political opinion, right? You don't think that kids ought to be driving, riding their skateboards on the sidewalks. And it is so outrageous that you're right that you're objecting to people you are the bad person in the neighborhood you you terrible person because you don't want people riding skateboards on the on the sidewalk and it's so bad that you want to stop people from walking uh driving skateboards on the sidewalk that somebody decides to run for district attorney to get you You're like i'm gonna get that awful non-skateboard riding person uh because non-skateboard riding pe people are terrible terrible I'm going to put them in jail because they, they deserve it. I'm going to go after them. You betcha. And all the skate ri skateboard riding people say, yeah, that guy is terrible. Uh, Karen, a uh, terrible person, um, you know, putting people, Pee Wee Herman there, you, uh, stopping people from riding skateboards on the sidewalk, you're terrible. And so then this person actually gets elected as the DA with some money from you know, some guy uh, who used to be Hungarian or whatever. I don't know. Could be a Hungarian. Who knows? And um, so he gets elected because he's in favor of skateboard riding. And you were opposed to skateboard riding. And then this person who gets elected, um, you know, who's going to go get you because, you know, you're a terrible person, um, finds out that you put in this home equity line of credit or uh, re house refinance or something, and you overstated the value of your house. And you say, well, what are you talking about? I paid all the money back. I paid all the money back. I, you know, I, you know, I don't like skateboarders on my sidewalks. That's true. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you know, I, I employ all these people in the neighborhood to cut the grass, right, to paint the house. Uh, you know, I'm a, a solid, upstanding member of the community. Uh, yeah, I don't like the skateboarders. That's true. Um, but, you know, look at all the other good things I'm doing. When when the skate skating rink uh, wasn't working and they were having troubles I know something about skate, skating rinks, and I went in and I fixed that ice rink, and you know really helped out there. And it was under budget, and it was it was just wonderful. And I've done all kinds of things to dress up the neighborhood. You know what I mean? I helped with this, and I helped with that, and I'm very active in the community. And uh, the only thing is uh, the skateboarders. I I can't stand them. 
And, uh, and, but then they find, so you think you're an upstanding, good person and all the rest of this, employing a lot of people and, you know, generally not making a nuisance of yourself. Like, it's not like you would do, uh, record yourself smoking crack, uh, with, uh, prostituted women, um, or whatever else. It's not like you would do deals with dirty, dirty deals with foreign governments or anything like, no, 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 you wouldn't do anything like that. Um, but, but you did, you did. Um, um, you did say that, um, the, um, you did say that, oh, and by the way, they had a referendum on skateboard riding and you opposed it. And you said, oh, I think those skateboard riders cheated. And you actually said that out loud. So that now they really hate you, right? Because you are, you are, uh, insurrectioning against the, uh, skateboard riding public. So not only, you know, forget all the other stuff that you did, uh, not, <laughs> <laughs> You're a really horrible person, aren't you? You bad anti-skateboarder person, you. Um, yeah, you didn't do crack. Yeah, you didn't do deals with foreign governments. Yeah, you didn't, uh, you know, take pictures of yourself naked and depraved and all. Yeah, you didn't do any of that and then leave it on a laptop in a fix-it shop in, in Wyoming or something and, you know, eventually. You didn't do any of that. No, but you did oppose the skateboarders, and that's, that makes you terrible. Plus, you overstated the value of your house on that application, which didn't fool anybody for a second, and you paid all the money back with interest, and they love you. Um, okay, um, well, because you did that, uh, you now owe us uh, $11.9 million. Pay up. <laughs> and if you don't pay up, we're taking your house. Oh, by the way, I heard you had a cottage, too. We're taking that as well. Oh, by the way, we, we understand you had a retirement fund. Idiot. Now we're taking that as well. And if you want to complain about the way we railroaded you, you got to pay it all first. You got to pay it all, all of it. You got to pay first. And then we'll, then we'll let you, we'll, then we'll let you uh, take a look at what it was we did. Okay. So my advice to you, right? Number one, uh, even if, if you don't like the skateboarders, it's, uh, it's America, right? It's a free country. You get to say what you want to say, right? You can say what you want to say. Um, uh, still don't do, do the crack and the other stuff. That's, that's risky behavior is bad, 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 don't do that. Um, but, um, if you're going to apply for a loan, right, be sure to get the appraisal first, because if you don't, and you think your house is worth whatever, cause you zillowed it or something, you know, something like that, or maybe your ego is such that you think your handiwork is so great, right? Cause you could be in real trouble. And that's my advice to each and everybody. Before you refinance or do a home equity line of credit, just be careful. That could come back and bite you. 